Hello all, today we'll be discussing about how we can create an artificial neural network in just 5 minutes. We'll be using Keras and uh, we'll be using TensorFlow in the backend. So initially to begin with, we need to import this uh, packages uh, which are actually provided in the dev in Keras and we have executed it. You can see the message over here as it is using TensorFlow in the backend. So uh, we are basically defining a neural network, we are creating a neural network. Uh, in a sequential format so keras does provide us a package called as the sequential through which we'll be creating it so initially to begin with uh, we need to define a model which will be actually created through the sequential class and in the constructor we basically can provide like this layer one layer two and layer three so let me just remove this layer one the Hidden layers can be created by using the dense package that we have imported over here. In the dense, if you just in the dense, we need to provide the the number of neurons that we, that is basically needed in the hidden layers. So initially, I just create a two layers uh, deep neural network. So I'll be using a 16 neurons in the hidden layers. Next parameter is basically the input. Um, next parameter is basically the input underscore dim uh, which is actually used to provide like what kind of input uh, what dimension of input uh, features we are actually providing it so this is the input dim and the next is the activation we are going to basically there are many types of activation like tan h value and um, sigmoid but we'll be using currently the value just to show uh, show you how it works so we have added one type of dense and this this becomes basically your first layer hidden layer where you actually providing an input feature a diamond which whose dimension is one type uh, one uh, dimension is one plus one matrix and 16 is basically the number of neurons that you are going to use in the hidden layer and that hidden layer will be actually working throughout the activation function called as relu in the second layer We'll also be using a dense. This will be the second hidden layer. Here, uh, uh, we can just use the number of. Uh, I'm just taking randomly the number of neurons. I don't have a business scenario currently. I'm just showing you how artificial neural network can be done within five minutes. So here we are basically taking the number of hidden uh, neural new number of neurons in that particular hidden layer as 32. Then we can use the activation function as relu here. So this will be our second hidden um, layer where you are actually using the number of neurons as 32 and the activation function as well. And the third is basically we are going to use a dense function again. But here this will be your output layer since we are just creating a two layer hidden neural network. So in the output layer we basically have two neurons. Then in the activation we will basically be using a soft match which is the variation of the sigmoid curve because uh, usually in the output we have like a classic like kind of stuff so we can have only two outputs so for the two outputs the best activation function that we can use is softmax so this is how your model is uh, the the complete hidden layer is along with the deep neural network is created i've just created a two layer we can actually add more and more um, hidden layers by just using this dense function now we need to compile this so here in the first uh, parameter like if I just show you the compile method you can see in the first parameter it is optimizer so I'll just define optimizer as Adam uh, do let me know like if you want to know all this information about like what does an Adam do what does an activation function do you can just write down the comment I can create some more videos regarding it which will be having a detailed explanation about everything like black propagation um, what is the gradient descent what is the learning rate in this Adam optimizer currently in this Adam optimizer I'll be giving a learning rate of 0 0.001 which will be actually used by the gradient descent to make the model learn so uh, this is done uh, I'm basically using the uh, compile method which will be actually using the Adam optimizer and uh, the next parameter that we we see from here is basically the loss function so 
uh, yeah the loss is also if you want a video on it you can definitely write down a comment away I'll create a video for loss function too because this are the basic concepts that are required in the deep neural network so in the loss function I'm basically using a sparse categorical cross cross entropy or different type of neural a loss function which uh, actually uh, uses once we get the output to update the weights in the back propagation so next is the metrics uh, we also have a metrics parameter over there in the metrics basically we'll be focusing on accuracy so this is basically the the improvement of the model will be based on this parameter that it should be more and more accurate to the output data that we have so that's all uh, here we have actually used uh, created a deep neural network uh, if you want to just see the summary let me just execute it i don't have to execute the package just in two lines of code oh sorry i've not selected completely my mistake so here it is so your deep neural network has worked on successfully just let me do like model dot summary it will show you how does your neural network run so this is how your neural network looks like uh, so in the dense first layer you have the input feature as uh, the output feature as 16 then 32 then 22 similarly based on this particular number of neurons in the hidden layer your parameters also changes so in just five minutes we have actually created a deep neural network uh, which is actually using keras and this is also done by the tensorflow which is used in the back end you can see the execution while I executed in the top, it was using TensorFlow in the back. So this is quite simple. Now in the now suppose if you have the data set, you can provide the data set in this fit uh, information to actually get the model output. So it was simple. Uh, do let me know like if you want a detailed explanation about what does this dense function do, what is this loss function, how how the optimizer works, how the graph propagation works in neural, uh, deep neural network. I can create a different videos for that uh, which will have the complete information along with the mathematical concepts. Thank you.